Well, hello and welcome to Muddy Underfoot. I'm Alan Casey and I'm really excited today because I have got my Ordnance Survey custom made map. Got a picture of me on the cover and it's one of the Explorer maps, one of my favourites. Now, to have this made, you just go to the Ordnance Survey website and you upload your photograph and you just type in some words that you need. I've got mine as the name, Muddy Underfoot, Favourite Video Walks. And you can centre it on your favourite area. I've centred the map on my home village of Kenninghall in South Norfolk in England. So to celebrate this wonderful map, I'm going to take you on a little village walk around Kenninghall. With this current lockdown for the coronavirus in 2020 and 2021, which is we're in now, uh, we're not allowed to go out on long distance walks far from the home. So I thought, let's do a walk around my local village and show you the area with the wildlife and what could be seen. Hello and a very warm welcome on a very cold day. It's about minus two, minus three at the moment. And this is in January, towards the end of January. And we had a little dusting of snow and a lot of ice on the, on the road and on the footpaths. Well today, because of lockdown with the coronavirus, I'm gonna take you on a short ramble around my local village of Kenning Hall in the beautiful South Norfolk village. And we're going to start off around the local fields close to my home. And um, with a bit of luck, we might see some wildlife like, like the um, roe deer, maybe a monk jack deer, um, perhaps the odd barn owl, which I have seen flying around here. So you never know what we're going to find. It's a freezing cold day. I thought I'd better show you what I'm actually wearing today. Besides my normal jumper and a reasonably thick shirt. I've got this lovely microfibre jacket which is quite warm. Fairy hat. And something I've recently come across is this strange neck tube. Never seen one before. But let's have a look inside, see what we've got. Right, there's the label. So we'll put the label at the back. First of all, It can be used as a hat. It can be used as a balaclava and suffocate in this if you don't get it down your neck quick enough. Um, also, you can use it as a mask because it's coronavirus business. Even be used as a snorkel. Quite handy and a blizzard. And with my big head, once you get it down, you use it around your neck to keep your neck warm. It's quite cold day, I think I'll keep it down here at the minute. And with my slightly balding head, I'll put my thermal hat, thermal hat on again. Then my backpack, got a nice cold drink, got spare batteries for my cameras uh, and, a, and a waterproof cover for my, for my video camera as well. Right, right in the distance there is a deer.
Sorry about the handheld camera at the moment. Well, unfortunately I was right there, the, um, the roe deer were just ahead of me and they did catch me um, unawares really, which is a shame really. I normally get quite close up to them even when, when I've got my dog with me, my little rabbit on, they, don't, they sort of got used to us. So, um, I think you may have seen them in the distance there on my camera, disappearing across the other field. So I shan't pursue them, but I shall carry on now walking down in towards the village of Canning Hall. I must tell you that the footpath I'm actually walking on at the moment is from a local farmer's field. It's not a permissive part, uh, path for um, just anybody. It, uh, I have got permission to walk down here. So I honestly advise you, if you want to do a walk on any farmer's fields, just to make sure you get permission if there's not a public footpath along it. Because um, some farmers, they might not like people walking across their land. Get off my land, I'll say. So don't forget to get in close with your camera. If you've got a macro lens, get some nice close-ups of the little snow, snow on the actual leaf itself. Quite interesting. Use manual focus whenever you can, but uh, auto is, is also okay. Let's do it in manual this time. I've just done an auto focus one. Uh, that saves your camera hunting for, for this, the actual focus point. So you can use it. I've got a small camera lens here. It's only um, what's it, 28 to 75 mil zoom lens. So I, I'm only doing close-ups really today. So we can get, get in nice and close, manual focus, and you can focus on the part of the leaf that you want to. Get low, get lower still. You're underneath it. There's no sun out much. That's one of the other great things about coming out on an icy day, especially when you had a lot of rain and it's been muddy, you get a lot of footprints and tracks in the mud. These are all frozen over. Have a look at some of these. Well, from human footprints to dog paw prints by the looks of it, uh, you can't see any other wildlife tracks on there. 
but no doubt we'll come across them as we go along. Well I remember when I was a young boy, quite a few years ago now, I used to come out and I used to have a little piece of cardboard off an old cereal packet and some plaster of Paris and you mix it up with a little bit of water. So you come out, you find a, a track of some animal, you put the cardboard around the actual track, mix some plaster of Paris up, not too much because it goes hard pretty quick, put it in, smooth it off over the top, let it go hard after I don't know five ten minutes maybe can't remember exactly and then you've got a lovely print of that animal track and you just take the cardboard off and then you, you've got something to treasure um, be nice to look in a book then to find out what that animal was whether it was a badger or a fox something like that fantastic And just over there in the distance, we get the view of Kenning Hall Church. And just come down this track, I've now come across some badger sets. And uh, by the looks of it, the badgers are active. So maybe one day I get a chance, I'll come down in an evening and uh, be nice and quiet and film some badgers for you. But I must tell you really that uh, what I do, I don't do plain air painting. I tend to do photographs and I work in my little warm home or my little studio and I'll do my art projects there. Um, it's entirely up to you whether you come out with your art and sit doing plain air subjects. It's entirely up to you. But um, that's the way I work.
Well, we just come up into the Kenny Hall village. Uh, we've got East Church Street and Mill Lane over there. And uh, the old vicarage. And then you've got your very old street going down past the red line in. So it's a 1722. Unfortunately closed due to lockdown. And here we have signs of spring on the way, although it's only January, we have got some snowdrops appearing. It's um, quite advisable to get in nice and low level to the snowdrops. When you come into any of the graveyards, anywhere you go, it's always worth looking at the gravestones. They've got a whole variety of different patterns and shapes, but the, the writing is a world. If you can track some of the poor people who are here, you might find interesting stories of their lives. And by exploring around the church itself, you might find a different angle if you want to get a, a nice picture to paint of the church as well.
Right, I've now left the village, had a quick tour around the village, into the village church and down into the market square. Now I'm heading back along the footpath which has uh, now started to defrost. It's uh, about half past twelve midday and uh, it's uh, extremely muddy underfoot. Lovely. I'm going in the field, walk through the field. Find a way through it. Here we are. Nice track across the field. Everything's starting to fall out now. They do forecast snow later in the day. Whether we'll get any down this area, I'm not sure. now and uh, I'm just going to have a look at the stream down here a little bit further down um, it's a nice little bridge there to have a look at ah it tidies up around the area I should imagine when it looks at the side it's quite flooded when they had, the, when they had all the heavy rain in a couple of weeks back Because when you come to a little area like this, get your camera out. Good for inspirational art. It's all about. Everything's defrosting now, getting dripped on from the, from above. Well, we're just outside the village of Kenning Hall, and this is a, a public footpath which leads into a nice wooded area. Now, unfortunately, the heavy rainwater I had recently just took the little bridge away. But if you, there's a little footbridge that used to be here. But if you go back 100 yards to the little bridge that I saw a minute ago, cross over it, you can then come back round the other side. Right, we're now down at the orchard at the uh, Kenning Hall Wood. Um, this is the Wood and Wildflower Meadows. It's called Hemp Meadow and uh, it's created um, for the villagers. And it's uh, the orchard itself is um, based on the, uh, an environmental initiative by the Kenning Hall Lands Trust for the village to be enjoyed by all. And I quite often come down here with my Labrador and my wife does as well. And uh, springtime, these lovely trees around here are all full of uh, apples and other delightful things. And uh, this board has got a whole list of uh, 32 with cherries, uh, Morello cherries, uh, plums, pears, all sorts of things on there. Fantastic. Of course you come down this way in the springtime and through the summer and autumn as well you get all the lovely blossom, apple blossom and you get all the apples and again art inspiration for your pictures.
Lovely job. I've come to the end of my walk, um, still here at the Kenning Hall Woods, and I've got to head home for my well-earned lunch. Um, hope you enjoyed your little trip around my local village, and uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll take the pictures off my camera onto the computer, and we'll sort out some art projects which I'll show you in a later video. And uh, I hope you enjoy this type of walk, and will join me on the next one. Happy walking.